Hey guys, it's Jessica. I know it's hot outside and a lot of you guys are going on vacation and you need your makeup to stay put. So I've created the perfect tutorial, so let's get melt proof makeup. To get started, I always start with our concealer. And you just want to put a little bit on your hand and take your concealer brush. And just go in and perfect those little areas that are kind of bothering you that day. And get those dark circles there. So next, I like to do my eyeshadow. You kind of can do whatever order works for you, but I like to do my um, eyeshadow next. So I hit my Mali eyeshadow up. This is a cream eyeshadow, and seriously, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, it just helps to kind of withstand the heat, and it stays a lot better than maybe like a powder would. Uh, I like to use this, and then if I know I'm gonna be going out for a long time, I might hit like a regular eyeshadow on there as well just to have extra staying power. It's always important to do your lighter color on your brow bone to make you look just like awake and ready for life. <laughs> and I take my little bit darker Mali eyeshadow and I just pop it in the center of my eye. And again, just using my ring finger, working it out, starting with less product and adding more if that's what you feel like you need. So you wanna just really try and get like tight into your lash line there. And this is a super blendable product, which is actually really awesome. Now that you guys have your eyeshadow set and you're looking like glamazon and ready for life, um, I like to do my eyeliner and this stuff is boss, let me tell you. It has this like really awesome like angle and it keeps everything like nice and sharp and clean which is super awesome for kind of when you're doing melt proof makeup. This is not going to come off. I wear this stuff to the beach just because like when you do it like tight into your eyes people don't know you're wearing eyeliner which is kind of awesome you're like yeah I woke up like this. <laughs> Now I'm gonna start with my mascara, and I can't live without mascara, honestly. Like, I'm a blonde, so I have blonde eyelashes. Um, this stuff is phenomenal. I like to just kinda go tight into my lash line and just wiggle back and forth and pull straight up. Now that you guys have your eyes set and you have your mascara on and you're all ready, um, I love to use this Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. It's a three-in-one, which makes sense for me because I don't like to do a lot of steps. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I just try and just get it together as quickly as possible. And I set my alarm extra late. I need the sleep. And I just warm it up in between my fingers and go nicely into my chin area. And BB cream is just like natural and beautiful and I work it down kind of on my neck a little bit. Maybe on my ears. Get rid of the sunburn. <laughs> so once you have that set, you can use your um, blush and it's just like a little stain which is actually kind of awesome because it kind of like adjusts to your own skin tone and makes it look like you're actually blushing and looking cute. <laughs> so I like to smile and then just work a little bit of the stain onto my cheeks. Gives you a beautiful color. So once you have your natural flush kind of going, um, I love to use my NYX blotting powder and this just helps to kind of set that um, stain that I just did. So you want to load up your blush brush or whatever brush works best for you and just really go through there and to just go in there. And this is a really awesome product to just like bring with you and do little touch-ups throughout the day, especially if you know you're gonna have a long day or maybe you're just having a bad day and just want to, you know, give a little pick-me-up to yourself. Everyone needs that sometimes. Lastly, I love to do like a fun color for lips and just kind of brightens up your face and wakes you up a little bit. So I have this Revlon Color Stay and this comes in like a million different colors and it's not super expensive. So you can really get like every color if you wanted to, which that's what I normally do. And you can kind of mix and match and figure out fun new colors. And then I just start in the middle. And this will last all day. Once you've finished your lip, you guys have completed Melt Proof Makeup. Uh, please use this tutorial when you go on vacation, somewhere warm, maybe Barbados, you never know. Um, thanks for hanging out guys, I hope to see you soon.